This is North Georgia's News Talk. For those of you listening in on stream three of WDUN.com and the Access WDUN app, you will notice that this is not Tony Schiavone talking back to you. That's because the G-Braves are in a rain delay. They're set to take on the Buffalo Bisons tonight at Coca-Cola Field. We'll keep you updated on when first pitch will be. Uh, as soon as we find out. But G-Braves right now in a rain delay. Uh, but we'll get you back to Tony Schiavone real soon and the vocal stylings of the voice of the G-Braves. Um, before we get to Mason Hamrick, where the Buffalo Bisons play is called Coca-Cola Field. And if you've not seen this place, it makes the Braves renderings in Cobb County look like they're building a minor league field. This place is huge. And it houses a triple-A team. Unbelievable. Uh, the space the Buffalo Bisons play in. Buford currently up 8-1 in the Class AAA quarterfinals against Pike County. That in the sixth inning. Apparently heavy rain falling, at least according to the Twitter feed, Access NGA Sports, to keep updated on high school sports in the area. Go follow them. Patrick Burnett had a three-run inside the park home run for the Buford Wolves. Uh, I'm a little confused by that because I thought those only happened in T-ball and softball when they were playing on a baseball field. The ball would get past the outfielders and go to the 400-foot fence. But Patrick Burnett with a three-run inside the park home run. Buford Wolves up 8-1 in the sixth inning on Pike County. Class AAA state quarterfinals winner obviously moves on to the state semifinals. Joining us in studio 36 minutes after 7 o'clock as we continue this Wednesday edition of Game On is Jefferson Pole Vaulter Mason Hamrick who defended his Class AA state title with a vault of 15 feet this past weekend on his home track in the boys state track and field uh i was about to say tournament but it's not a tournament um meet meet that's what i was looking for why didn't you help me out mason (laughs) you're sitting there watching me struggle and he's just smiling at me how are you doing mason i'm good how are you i'm doing just fine and we appreciate you coming down uh from jefferson you live in jefferson proper yes ma'am that's fantastic all right listen um, we had a pole vaulter in last week, I believe it was. We had her on the phone. She was a pole vaulter from North Hall. Was that it? Gabrielle Hoffman? Was that her name? Fantastic. Uh, she won a state title, too. And then you come along and you win your second state title. I believe that was her second state title as well. But you come along. What is it about pole vaulting in this area? How did you even get into the sport? Um, you know, I was I was playing baseball uh, up until, well, from the time I was little. And then I just decided i got tired of it and my mom told me that i had to play something or had to do something <laughs> good so, for you mama <laughs> i was like well I'll, I'll just go out and run track that looks like fun and we went out there and we were practicing and they told us it was time to pick field events and i had no idea what field events even were and <laughs> i saw i saw uh tyler porter he was the He's our vaulter from a long time ago, and he holds the double A state record. And I saw him over there jumping, and I said, "You know, that looks like a lot of fun." So I went over there, and it, it just kind of came natural. Really, carrying a big stick, putting it into the ground, and <laughs> catapulting yourself over a bar uh, came naturally to you. <laughs> I, I guess so. <laughs> a jump of fifteen feet is a uh, is pretty darn impressive. Um, how did you how did what was the improvement like for you from last year's state title to this year's state title well i i actually didn't improve any mm-hmm. i didn't pr this season i had a it was really kind of a bad season for me but it, my form last year compared to this year i've worked out a lot of little kinks mm-hmm. and i've gotten my form a lot better and I've been making a lot bigger jumps than I was last year. Uh, last year, I was shocked to yeah. jump 15 feet. And this year, I, I was a foot over 15 feet. I could have jumped 16, I feel like, but the cards just didn't come in my play. Well, even they, even though they didn't, you're still able to win a, a Class AA state title. I like to ask... Any athlete, any coach we have on at whatever level, uh, whether it's a professional college or high school level, um, what it's like that moment when you've won the title. Uh, and with it being your second one in a row, what was it like for you, Mason? Uh, it, it was it was awesome. I mean, I won my freshman year, and that was great. And I had a real heartbreaking season my sophomore year. I came in third. Last year, I came back, won. And then this year... 
to know that it was my last state title that I would ever, ever have. It was, I was happy, but at the same time, I was sad because I, I've always wanted to be a dragon, mm-hmm. and it, it was really more sad than it was happy. I love it that you say that, uh, because I think that people view the losers of, of, championships or when someone's season ends and they see the sadness but you bring up always wanting to be a dragon and and that's kind of how jefferson is it's a lot like gainesville you know you grow up in that tradition rich area uh east hall high school is the same way buford is the same way you grow up in that tradition rich and all you want to do is be a jefferson dragon and when it comes to an end whether on a good note or a bad note uh it can be it can be bittersweet it can be very very sad what is it about Jefferson, though, and maybe you can answer this, you all have great athletics across the board, but especially in track and field. Uh, what is it about the program that keeps you all successful year after year? Uh, tradition, mainly. I mean, track's always been a huge tradition for Jefferson, especially since Coach Keene and uh, Mr. Bryan built memorial stadium for the state track meet and uh ever since then we've had just a super strong track team and you know everybody wants to wrestle from jefferson and play football but there's also more tradition in track than there is either one of those and i'm not taking anything away from them but uh you know everybody wants to come and everybody works their butt off because at the very first part of the season everybody thinks it's going to be easy but Mm -hmm. We have great coaches, and uh, we have tough practices, and it, we really start to trim the fat, and the real athletes come out at the end of the year when it matters. I tell you, Jefferson, across the board, and obviously we know what the football team's done the last couple of seasons, but their girls' basketball, their boys' basketball, their softball, uh, their their wrestling goes without saying. Just across the board, great athletics at Jefferson High School. You're a buff dude. Like, you're buff. And I mean, I'm not saying people can't see you. We're on the radio, but you're buff. What's your off season workout program like? Oh, uh, running a lot. You're red. A lot of running. Did I embarrass <laughs> you? He's kind of red. Uh, it's just sunburn. <laughs> <laughs> well played, Mason. <laughs> it's just, uh, like I said, a lot of running, uh, a lot of power mm-hmm. exercise, a lot of power clean, snatches, uh, lifts, all that, and a lot of vaulting. And, uh, you know, just pole vaulting alone will build a lot of muscle yeah. in the shoulders and the core. What's the training like to get your sprint where it needs to be from point A to the vault point? What do you do to train for that? Um, I usually 400 meters. Yeah. I run 400 repeats and a lot of hill sprints and a lot of, uh, like, 100-meter sprints to work on uh, – work on my running form and what I have to do. And I also watch a lot of YouTube videos of mm-hmm. all of the great pole vaulters like Sergey Bupka. I, I try to mimic his run because not only was he a world record pole vaulter, but he was also part of the Ukrainian 4x1 team. And uh, I just try to mimic those guys. Is speed an integral part of being a good pole vaulter? Oh, absolutely. Because you, well, you look at pole vaulting and you think, ah, oh, these guys are, they got to be strong. They've got to have a strong core to be able to just, you know, you put you put the vault, you put the pole uh, in in the little hole, and then you body your body has to flip up. But does speed play into it at all? Oh, absolutely. Speed, uh, speed's one of the most important parts of the jump. Uh, you can't get on bigger poles. If you're slow yeah. and you can't go up and hide if you're not getting on bigger poles, you absolutely have to be fast and uh, you have to be fast and you have to be powerful at the end of your jump because if you're not jumping up and if you're not putting the power into the pole, it's just going to shoot you straight up and straight back down. And I actually... <laughs> that doesn't sound that. like fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not because I had that problem all year long. <laughs> well, so, okay, so if you get yeah, if you go straight up and straight down, you're landing on hard ground, right? Very hard ground. Right. <laughs> the other way, the right way to do it, you land on a nice cushy mat. Correct, Mason? Right. And uh, I actually, 
I was having that problem earlier this year, and I, I talked to Tyler Porter, texted him. I was like, listen, man, i, I got to fix this. What do I do? <laughs> and he put it into perspective for me. If you don't jump up with that power and load the pole like you're supposed to, it bends more like a spring, and it just bends, shoots you straight up and straight down. But when you jump into it and you have that power, it bends the, whole, the pole higher and it's more of a wave instead of a spring. It, it shoots you up and out. So you don't land on the hard, hard ground. You're fun to talk to. Will you stick around for another segment? Absolutely. That sounds fantastic. <laughs> Folks, this is Mason Hamrick, Jefferson High School senior. Just won his third state title in the pole vault this past weekend with a vault of 15 feet. It's 45 minutes after 7 o'clock. We're going to come back, wrap up this Wednesday edition with the man of the hour, Mason Hamrick. I hope you come back with us. This is Game On on WDUN. You learn something new every day, at least I do. I don't know that you learn it new listening to Game On from 6.30 to 8 every evening, but maybe. I call it the hole the pole goes into when you're trying to spring yourself over the bar and onto the nice cushy mat. It's actually called the box. So Mason Hamrick, we appreciate that intel into the world of pole vaulting. He's joining us. Jefferson Sr. defended his Class AA state title this past weekend on his home track. Pretty cool to like have the state title meet on your home track, right? Like that's. Do you feel any pressure from that, though? Uh, it, not really. I, I try to take as much pressure off of myself as I can because it, if I let it get to my head, then mm-hmm. I'll just freak out. But I've always done good under pressure. But I just take it off myself and use it like another track meet. I tell you what, it's a great venue to to watch a track meet. I had the pleasure of covering the boys' state track meet at at Jefferson High School uh, many times in in the days when I was a sports writer. It was hot. It was hot, but it was a whole lot of fun. And maybe p- people show up in mass for this thing. Um, I don't know if you've seen the footage. You, you talk about watching uh, YouTube videos. Have you seen the picture of the incoming Georgia running back, Nick Chubb? I saw him run the 100-meter dash. And is he a is, freak? That is a big dude. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously. He he look like a man. Like, he looks like a man already. It, it's it, ugh. And they showed his vertical. And, folks, if you hadn't seen the picture, any sports website out there has it, and people are freaking out about it. But his vertical, he looked as though, and I'm not good at gauging, but he looked as though he was probably six feet off the ground with his legs tucked. I mean, he just looks like an absolute freak of nature. And people are actually comparing that, his run, his running style in that 100 meters to the photo of Herschel Walker uh, when he ran in the state meet in his days, a 40-inch vertical Nick Chubb has. Uh, when he in his, when he ran in, in the state meet, their bodies are both the same. It's just unbelievable to watch. You just heard Mason say, looks like an absolute freak of nature. What's the future hold for you? What's coming up? Uh, I signed to Georgia Tech. Fantastic. Good like for you. The week after Easter, and mm-hmm. uh, I'm really looking forward to that because they've got a great coach and a great program, and I, I really feel like I'm going to – that this is just the beginning. High school is just the beginning, and I'm going to – go a lot farther in order to get into georgia tech you got to be kind of smart mason you make good grades i make pretty good grades you, your mother said you had to play a sport does she whip you into shape academically too <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> all right so going to georgia tech that's so much fun going to be in atlanta going to be on the track and field team uh, i assume correct that's what i okay yes, yeah ma'am. i didn't I, I figured it as much going to be pole vaulting uh, at the ACC level, what are you most looking forward to about college experience? Uh, and don't say girls. <laughs> I've got a girlfriend. Oh, then definitely <laughs> don't say girls, Mason. <laughs> uh, I'm really looking forward to just getting better because the coach is, coach is absolutely awesome. I, yeah. I love the coach, and he's I really feel like he's going to get me a lot better, and that's what I'm really looking forward to is is seeing what I can do and uh, unleashing all of the potential I feel like I've got. Do you want to go beyond college? And, and of, of course, there are 
professional uh, track clubs, and of course there are the Olympics and things of that nature. Are you already thinking along those lines? Is that something you're interested in? More importantly, is that something you think you can do? I, I mean, everybody wants to go to the Olympics, but, you know, I, right now I'm just focused on getting through college and seeing how high I can jump there, and uh, I, maybe if the cards play in my favor, then I can go to the trials in 2020, but I I'm not saying anything yet. I, I I just want to get through college. Good answer. That's a good answer. I don't know who taught you that answer, but that is a mighty, mighty fine answer. What are you going to major in? Uh, civil engineering right now. Really? Why? I. And I don't mean why like I'm judging you. I honestly mean what makes you interested in civil engineering? I mean, it, it's something I've always had an interest in, but mainly for the money. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's. Let me tell you what we get. We get. Uh, I don't want to say cliche answers because when I ask young people what they're going to major in when they go to college, really no two answers have been the same. You know, nobody says. I, actually, we, I've never had anybody say I want to be a teacher, or I've never had anybody <laughs> say you know I want to be a lawyer or anything like that. So no two answers are are ever the same. But I get the feeling from all of them they're going into their respective fields for the money they think they can make in those fields uh, when they get out. And Mason, i got to tell you, I appreciate the honesty. <laughs> I definitely appreciate the honesty. Uh, what other sports are you a fan of? You mentioned, play, you mentioned playing baseball. Are you a Braves fan? I, I, I love the Braves. They got, they got their tails beat today. You know that? I know. Uh, what do you think their deal is? I have moving to Cobb County. <laughs> You think they're you think they're looking so forward to moving to Cobb County that, that that's why they stunk against the Giants today? Uh, that that possibly are you a football fan? Oh, absolutely. Georgia fan? Georgia fan? Dragon fan? Dragon fan? Listen, his eyes lit up when he said Dragon fan. Uh, so, okay, Georgia fan. Then 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 let's answer me answer me this. You think the dogs have a shot at winning a national title? And before you answer that in a fan way because all georgia fans are like this is our year before you answer that in a fan way you're gonna have to give me the reason why you think we got about 30 seconds left uh i definitely think georgia can win a national championship because we've got the talent todd Gurley, hudson mason we've got all the talent in the world but i don't think we can win it with mike bobo being the offensive coordinator oh <laughs> young mason has just <laughs> thrown down the gauntlet wowie Oh, he sounds like somebody that's been listening to Game On is what he sounds like. <laughs> oh, man. No, Mike Bobo did better last year, though. He, he did, but he cost us a national championship when we lost that game to Alabama. Oh, oh, Mason. Mason brought it. He's not just a pole vaulter, folks. I think this guy's going to take my job in a few years. <laughs> Forget civil engineering. Absolute pleasure, young man. You're welcome back in this studio anytime, and congratulations on your state title. Folks, i got to go see a man about answering some trivia questions. I'll be back tomorrow, though, at 630. Game on. She's just a girl, but she's on fire.